just got out of the shower, my hair is all slick. The video you're about to watch is actually a video that I shot a couple days ago, and it is so good because I'm going to give you I, I think it was either six or seven originally it was gonna be like five signs that a guy actually likes you but then towards the end of the video I just stopped caring and I started mentioning all these other secret signs that I wouldn't usually talk about so make sure you stay to the end of the video so you don't miss any of the extra secrets that I sneak in I like thanking you guys for watching my videos all the way to the end so consider that my way of saying thank you but this is gonna be a very fun video for you guys because I, I mentioned this in the video as well that you're basically gonna know how to read a guy's mind so that if he likes you, whether he wants you to know or not, you're going to know. And what I mean by that is that sometimes when a guy likes you, he wants you to know. But other times when a guy likes you, he does not want you to know. At the end of this video though, it's not going to matter because you're going to know regardless. And that applies to you. If you like someone, these signs are also going to be things that you can't control about yourself as well. So you'll see what I'm talking about in the video. One last thing I want to mention before we get started, I have done three other videos on this exact same topic already. So this will probably be the last time I make one of these videos about signs a guy likes you because I already have four videos. I was going to do three, I was going to keep it a trilogy, and then I decided to add a fourth installment just to give you an extra one for the books. I know you guys love when I do these kind of videos, so I'll make you guys a deal. If this video gets over 5,000 thumbs up, I'll make another installment, a fifth installment, in the future. But I think I've rambled on long enough to make this video last over 10 minutes long. So with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you learn a little bit about other people. I hope you learn a little bit about yourself. And with that being said, let's get started. Do you know the difference between when a guy is talking to his friends and he's talking about a girl and he says, I like her versus I actually like her. It is a huge, monumental, gargantuan difference when they use the word actually. And there's a reason why. Because sometimes, when you like someone, you don't even know it. Sometimes, you're the last person to know that you like them. Everyone else is completely aware of it and you're just completely in denial. Being able to tell that you like someone else, that's like an entire topic for a video in and of itself. Today, what I want to do is show you how to read a guy's mind so that you can know when he has any kind of feelings for you. This is totally 100% different than all the other videos about signs a guy likes you. Definitely have not gotten enough of those videos from me yet for sure. So that's what I want to do today. I'm going to expose five clear signs that a guy likes you. Actually, I think it's six. I think I'm going to do six. No, I'm going to say five and then we're gonna we're gonna see if I do six by the end of the video because I like to under promise and over deliver. So give this video a thumbs up down below if you like when I do these kind of videos because I, I just have fun with them. And with that all being said, let's get in to secret Number one. Secret number one. He does things that he hates to do just so he can be around you. Listen, a guy who's gonna make a sacrifice for you is already beating out 99% of the competition. Because 99% of guys, they might like you, they might, you know, wanna hook up with you, but they're not gonna sacrifice anything for themselves to get with you. It's, they're just too lazy. Guys want to take shortcuts, okay? We're like water. Okay, we take the, the path of least resistance, and if we have to make sacrifices to get one girl and there's other options, they're not going to go for that one. They're going to take the path of least resistance. So if he's willing to do things that he doesn't want to do, if he's willing to make those sacrifices just to spend time with you, if a guy's making any kind of sacrifice for you, very good sign. Like, I'm a man, okay? For example, if I'm spending time with a girl watching The Bachelor, do you really think I'm sitting there enjoying The Bachelor? Absolutely, but I'm not going to admit that. Mainly because I like to put myself in The Bachelor's shoes and try and decide what I would do if I was him. However, if you gotta make me watch The Bachelorette, that is a completely different story. I don't want to do that. So it's not really a sacrifice if you got me watching The Bachelor with you, but if you got me watching The Bachelorette, yo, you got me. So that is secret number one. Anytime he does something that he hates just so he can spend time with you. Secret number two. Anytime that he does things that you hate. Let me explain. When you like someone, I don't care if you're a guy, if you're a girl, when you like someone, you let them get away with so much more shit that you would never let someone that you're not interested in get away with. For example, let's say you're attracted to someone and they, you know, maybe they like you back a little bit and they're a little bit needy. If this wasn't someone who you were attracted to, that would be the most unattractive thing in the world. You would be repulsed. However, if you already like them a little bit and they're a little bit needy, 
It's kind of cute. You don't call that being needy. You call it like, you know, oh, no, he just actually likes me. I don't know what you're going to call it, but you can call it that. But if it was some weird person who you're just not into at all and they're very persistent about it, you would want a restraining order. Another perfect example. Let's say someone you like, you know, they get a little bit jealous. You're like, oh, he's a little, je you know what? He just, he cares. That's, that's all that means. But if someone who you're not attracted to gets jealous that you're talking to someone else, you're not sure if they're gonna murder you or not. It's completely a double standard, but that being said, I know that about you because I'm in the same boat, so we can be terrible people together. But here's the thing you have to understand about that. No guy ever in his life wants to appear needy or jealous or desperate or anything like that, but their emotions that the stronger they are, the harder they are to hide. So the more that you can tell that he is feeling one of those kind of emotions about you, even though he doesn't want to admit it, and even though you might hate it on some degree, that is one of the best signs that you can tell that someone likes you. Because if they can't hide it, that means it's really strong. So that's secret number two. Here's secret number three. If he can remember small details about you. And you can even go further with this, especially if he has a terrible memory. <laughs> Actually, I just wanna say one real quick thing, like in my defense. If he doesn't remember little details about you, that doesn't mean that he doesn't like you. Like if you're watching this video and you're thinking of one guy in your head and you're trying to see if he does each of these things and you're like, wait, he doesn't remember small details about me. Does that mean he doesn't like me? No, it doesn't mean he doesn't like you. All it means is that he's a man and he has a terrible memory like most men do and maybe he smoked a lot of weed in high school okay I'm sorry I got a little bit personal at the end let's let's carry on the point is it's when he does remember the small details that that basically means he's remembering he's thinking about you and all these things that you said to him a lot more than he probably should be. <laughs> One of the best things that he can remember about you is the little things that you have in common with him because that's like a double whammy. Not only is he remembering things about you, but he's also, he's liking you more because he has things in common with them. We actually go into a lot of detail about that specifically in Attract Academy, so if that's something that interests you, you can definitely learn more about that. Like if you want to decode how a guy is thinking, the more things that he can remember about you, the more he's been thinking about you when you're not around because that's how you remember things. It's like he's accidentally studying for a test and you're the test. And also if a guy ever looks at you like a test and he's actually really trying that hard to pass, that's another, that's like a free bonus sign that a guy likes you. Look, we just came up with seven. Just the more ways that you can see that a guy is thinking about you when you're not around, it, that's, the, the more you can see that the better. Like if you guys go out on a date, you're hanging out, whatever you want to call it, you don't have to call it a date, but let's say you guys are hanging out for a little bit and after you're done hanging out, you go home and like he texts you later saying, hey, did you get home safe? That is a a sign that he's thinking about you when you're not around. Not only does that show that he cares about you, but he's also protective and he's not a dick. That's like a double win. Also, one of the biggest signs you can see that a guy likes you is when he asks you the three word question that I mentioned in my last two videos, what are we? If you haven't watched my last two videos about that yet, go watch those because they will help you understand this video so much more. Because let me explain something to you. If a guy is going out of his way to ask you, what are we? That means one thing and one thing only. He is not happy with where it's at and he's trying to progress it in the most direct, quick way as possible. And here's the thing, I know some of you are gonna leave a comment saying, hey, a guy said that to me once and then a couple months later he dumped me. That may be true, but here's the point. When he asked you that question, he 100% was into you. In fact, he was so into you when he asked that question, he had no interest in anyone else because if he was interested in anyone else, he just wouldn't have asked the question. He didn't have to go out of his way to ask you that question. But if he leaves you later in the relationship, all that means is that something changed somewhere between when he asked that question and when he ended it. And if you're sitting here thinking like, I have no idea what I did wrong, don't worry, you came to the right place. First thing I recommend you do is check out some of the other videos on my channel because some of them are going to help you. The other thing that I recommend you do is actually click the link in the description down below. It's going to bring you to Attract Academy. You can read all about what you're going to learn in it, see if it's something that is right for you. Because I really think that'll answer all of your questions on how to get a guy to like you and also stay committed to you long term. But my question for you today is, have you ever asked a guy, what are we? Or has a guy ever asked you, what are we? Leave your answers, leave your stories in the comments section down below. And also if there's 
there's any stories that you guys want me to talk about in my own personal life in the near future, leave those in the comments as well. Maybe some first time I did this, or first time I did that, or, you know, embarrassing this, whatever. But guys, if this is your first time ever watching one of my videos and you don't hate my face, feel free to subscribe because we make videos like this every single week. Click some of the other videos that are around my face right now, but guys, that is really all I've got to say on it. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.